Time for our quote of the week. Back in 2010, Stan Kroenke waited until the 11th hour to exercise his negotiated right to buy the St. Louis Rams. After repeatedly saying he was committed to keeping the team in St. Louis, he moved it back to Los Angeles six years later. Now he's at it again, exercising an option to buy the former Rams Park in Earth City for $1. The stadium authority in St. Louis has filed suit to stop that, saying the $790 million legal settlement paid by Kroenke and the NFL over the Rams' move back to L.A. supersedes that $1 option. Our quote is from St. Louis County Executive Sam Page. He endorses this new lawsuit against Kroenke, saying, This is a fight worth having. We cannot allow a $25 million facility to be turned over for $1 to a guy who has shown time and again he has no interest in the St. Louis region. John, should we sign you up for Team Sam Page? Kudos to Sam Page here. He, he's finally found somebody less popular than he is. And he's going after Stan Kroenke. And, uh, you know, I, you would have to imagine that the Rams in the St. Louis situation is irreversibly, you know, separated. Uh, I don't think the, I don't think Kron Kroenke's going to get this place for a buck. Michael. I think Sam Page was spot on with what he said. He was far cleaner than I would have been in referencing uh, that guy who took our team from us. What if he gets it? I mean, it, it's like a, a rash you can't treat, the Stan Kroenke thing. Is it just, you know, or, or St. Louis, what do you call the complex, you know? Rams Park. Yeah, the whole thing with Kroenke. We well, just don't feel like we're good enough, and we, we always got this guy beating us over the head. So you know, the, but we did win last time. The psychology of Stan Kroenke is pretty interesting. He was he was bullied in high school, and he's carried that with him all these years. And I think he enjoys inflicting pain, and um, it's not a particularly good character attribute, but I think it's pretty accurate when it comes to Stan Kroenke. How damaging is it to St. Louis to keep having to fight this guy? Or is it damaging at all? I mean, we won the first round, right? Right. We well, lost the team, but we won the settlement. Well, we lost the war. We're, we're now winning some pieces of the battle and some remnants of it. This is a good fight to have um, to continue to put a spotlight on this guy and, 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 and that family who still calls Missouri home. Yeah. I just think of, you know, when he bought the team in the last hour, oh, we're... You know, I'm committed to St. Louis. Right. Yeah, whatever. I put a lot of jack into this team. I remember you used the word jack. All right. Final thoughts are next. But first, we have some very sad news to share. You may not have known this, but for several years, two John Hancocks have been a big part of this program. This one over here and another who worked behind the scenes. This John Hancock was the longtime producer of this show and multiple newscasts at Fox 2. He was known around here simply by his last initial, H. Just after last Sunday's show, we learned H died from cancer. He was a true news talent, very smart and sharp-witted. These photos are from H's 50th birthday party in February. We all hoped and prayed there would be more birthdays. John loved his Missouri Tigers and St. Louis Cardinals and above all, his wife, their daughter, and their son. We send them our love and our deep, deep sympathy. We miss you already, H.